was born out of working um, with students straight after university. Um, I spent a lot of my career uh, working in human resources and I would work with people that were, getting, that were older in their careers. For them, the chance for change and the chance for doing something different had almost finished because they said, I work, I, this is what I do. Whereas working with young people straight from education, straight into the workplace, was still they could still change the world. And I, and I really enjoy that passion. Um, and it's just trying to help people coming from education uh, find a route and, and navigate that first couple of roles uh, when they're going into employment. And that's what still excited me and makes me so passionate about doing what we do. The big issue for me is that is around looking at the diversity of the workforce. Um, at the moment, the, the big issue is that we still have a totally kind of a triangle where the top couple of percent of people are still going into jobs um, because they know how the system works, how to navigate that process. Uh, and for me, I cannot believe it's just not possible that the best that the best talent in the world comes from just that sort of top five or ten percent. It's it just not feasible. So I think it's impossible for education to meet the needs of employers. Uh, if we look at the different things that every single employer needs, um, they're so different, they're so distinctive, it's impossible for schools and for universities to do that on their own. That's why we think that employers have a responsibility to provide the education that will meet their needs uh, so that the companies can do well by doing good. So the particular thing that we look at is the technical and commercial and cultural skills that people need when they're making the transition from education into the workplace. And we do that through free education provided by employers against their own needs. The most important thing that needs to happen in education is to match the jobs that are being created against the people that are coming out of education. If we look at the workforce across the European Union at the moment, employment levels amongst young people in the UK, in Germany, in Spain, it's consistent right the way through, very high levels of unemployment amongst young people. If we look at Spain, ridiculous amounts, like crazy out of control levels of unemployment amongst young people, but it's still true right the way across the rest of Europe. We need to look at what is being uh, produced in terms of new jobs that need to be created. Uh, versus the people that are coming out. We have a demographic time bomb in terms of an aging population in the whole of Europe. What are we going to do to address that by looking at skilling up in the right areas, being adaptive um, through people that are coming out uh, and doing that in a way that meets both the needs of employers but also that young talent that's coming out of schools and, and colleges and universities.